My name is Jennifer McGrath. I'm president of Surge, which is Students United for Reproductive Justice, and we're here today to do our spring event, Paint Your Orgasm. So really, what it's all about is just kind of celebrating your body and your experience, and just realizing how beautiful it is to be a human and to have that innate sexual experience. Uh, this really relates to what Surge does on a daily basis because we're trying to get students here to be comfortable with their bodies and talk about it. A lot of times students are afraid to even come up to the table and get condoms. So if you can't even talk about sex, how are you supposed to be able to have safe sex if you're too ashamed to even verbalize it? So we're trying to make things really, really comfortable and fun and that's what Paying Your Orgasm is all about and what Surge is all about as well. We're really just trying to advocate sexual health and empower the students here on campus. I don't think it's inappropriate at all. I think it's a really beautiful way to express um, the wonderful feelings that everybody gets from their own personal sexual experiences. I don't think it's inappropriate. I think other people might think that paint your orgasm is inappropriate for those who have maybe conservative points of views. But the thing with Surge is that we push the boundaries a lot and that's something that we're really proud of and something that we embrace. And so these are things that students need to be talking about. It's so incredibly important to just be able to say the word orgasm and have it displayed and talk about it and have these conversations because that's what students are doing as they're sitting down. They're creatively expressing who they are as a human individual while having these deep, meaningful conversations about what sexuality really is. So I think it's absolutely appropriate, especially on a student campus like this. Any person can talk about their sex life, their sexuality, as openly as they want. Um, they should have the freedom to do that. They should, of course, also have the freedom to keep it private if that's what they want. I think it's, it's kind of like different strokes for different folks, pardon the pun. But um, I, think, I think it's really important for those people who are having sex to be open about their sexuality because when you talk about it and you're comfortable with it, that helps other people to kind of come out of that shell a little bit more and realize like this is something that it's okay to talk about and it's fun and we all go through this. So let's share each other's stories and, and you know, and I think we should absolutely talk about it. But I don't think that we need to be hiding our sexuality at all. Um, and I don't think that it should be so closely attached to ideas about morality. I don't think that somebody's sexuality has anything to do with what kind of person they are, how good of a person they are, um, what their qualities are. We're here today doing our Paint Your Orgasm event. It's an event we do every spring towards the end of the semester. It's really just a great way to kind of wind down and relax and have a little bit of fun in this beautiful community environment. So what we do is we have this butcher paper and we get a chance to creatively express our experience when we're having orgasms in our body and it's really just a chance to embrace who we are as sexual human beings. It's a really, really beautiful experience and we're all getting together and then at the very end everybody displays their art on the ground and so we can look down and see how everybody's experience is unique and their own and authentic and amazing and we love it and it's so much fun. So if you get a chance, come on down. Hi everybody, my name is Asker, and this is how I look when I have an orgasm. It's fun. Great. Hope you like it. Hi, my name is Ashley. This is my painted orgasm here. I drew a rainbow and some butterflies and wrote the word love because to me that's what it's about. It's about embracing your feeling and respecting who you're with and Butterflies, love, and rainbows, really. Hello, I'm Brett. I'm here at Paint Your Orgasm. And I'm in the process of painting my orgasm. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Not quite finished, but I'm getting there. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm at the Paint Your Orgasm event here. You can tell me something fun. This is my orgasm. I've been told that it resembles a butterfly, but to me, it's, it's supposed to represent how in that kind of moment, you're emanating positivity, you're feeling good, and so it's all coming from that source. And so it's a lot of warm colors, um, but it is supposed to be sex positive and it just represent how good we feel to be with another person in that nice moment of intimacy. Hey, my name's Jose, I'm a women's studies major here at UNLV, and I'm here at the Paint Your Orgasm event, super excited to be painting this picture. I painted my orgasm, it has a lot of things going on, but the main thing is a picture of a 
I feel that, you know, it's so important to be sex positive and to embrace the fact that a lot of us actually like sex and that we're not afraid to talk about it. So it's a great event. Please check out Students United for Reproductive Justice and uh, be more sex positive because we need it in the world. If they are sexually active, that the best way to have an orgasm is to have a safe orgasm. Use protection at all times. A lot of people say that sometimes they don't like to use condoms because it desensitizes. But at the same time, you gotta, you can't take that risk. You gotta be safe about it. But a lot of times, a lot of people don't have orgasms because they they get trapped inside of themselves. And it's really, really important that you're with someone who allows you to be you completely, holistically, and you just you love that and you let it out and you release and that's what an orgasm is all about, is just letting all that tension, tension out and just feeling really, really good about who you are and your body and just letting it happen naturally. That's the best part, is trying not to force it. Just let your body do what it naturally knows how to do.